Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the median from an ungrouped frequency table. We've got this question here. Here are the number of texts 34 people sent yesterday. So 7 people sent 2 texts, 9 people sent 3 texts. Remember the frequency just means how many people had that value. And we want to work out the median number of texts sent. So remember what median means. Median means the middle value. So let's think how many values we have. We've got 34 pupils in total. So if we want the middle person, if you just half the 34, we get the 17th person. Now I know there's a slight adjustment if it's an even number, you've kind of halfway between that one and the next one, but we probably don't need to worry about that. So just halve the 34 to get the middle people, and we're interested in how many texts the middle people, the 17th people, sent. Now let's just think about it logically. These students are ordered in terms of the number of texts they sent. If we want the 17th people, do they occur within the first seven peoples? No, they don't. But do they occur within the next nine peoples? Well, if we've got seven peoples here and nine peoples here, that's 16 peoples in total have sent up to three texts. But we want the 17th people, which is after that. So that 17th people must occur in the next category here, which is four texts. So therefore, the median is equal to four texts. So let me just repeat that again. We halve the number of pupils there are, the number of items there are. So we want the 17th pupil, and then we kind of basically work our way through the table until we get to the 17th thing. It's not in the first seven things, and it's not within the next nine things either, because that gets us up to the 16th pupil. But the 17th people will then be the first student in this next group, which is the students who sent a vortex. So the median will be vortex. Your median should be a value on the left side of the table, not on the right side.